bridesmaid or he will pull all the funds from her wedding? He what? He what? Hey, sweet macaroni. No. No. Hey everybody, I'm Katie Sauter, engineer by day, wedding planner by night, and I am going to go into a crazy Reddit story today. And if it fails to teach us anything, it's going to get the big fat Sauter seal a failure. The title of the story today is from r slash am I the a-hole, and this one is called am I the a-hole for helping to pay for my niece's wedding so she doesn't have to involve my family in the wedding. So far, don't not not seeming like an a-hole. Um, I right off the bat, I would probably give this one an NTA rating, so not the a-hole. My, she is 32 female, brother Nate, 49 a male, so my brother Nate, married his first wife and had my oldest niece, Zoe, who's 24 and female. Nate cheated on Zoe's mom when Zoe was six and they divorced. Moe's, Moe's. Zoe's mom took her to another city and Zoe would come for us for va summer vacation. Zoe's mom took her to another city and Zoe would come to us for summer vacation. Nate moved his girlfriend in after the divorce and they had a daughter named Kim, who is 17 females. So Kim is Zoe's half sister and they have seven years separating them. She continues by saying, I have always sent Zoe Christmas and birthday cards. She would send me a message a few times a year for updates. We are friends on a few social media platforms, but we're both not very active online. Last year, Zoe said that she's getting married. Yay! <laughs> Our family was happy for her, and Nate said he would help pay for the wedding, since both Zoe and her fiancé are both only 24. Yeah, that's fair. Zoe thanked him and went about planning her wedding, which is like, wow, that's awesome. Like, being, being a young adult is hard, so it was really nice of her dad to actually, like, offer to pay. Recently, Nate found out that Kim is just a guest in Zoe's wedding. Uh -oh. He told her she should make her only sister the maid of honor. Oh, Zoe said that position was for her best friend who's been in her life since she was 10. Nate was not happy, but then suggested Kim could be a bridesmaid. And Zoe said no, that although she feels bad for feeling this way, Kim is the proof of him cheating on her mom. And she is uncomfortable having Kim as anything other than a guest at her wedding. Nate then said Zoe needs to make Kim a bridesmaid or he will pull all the funds from her wedding. He what? He what? Boy, oh, sweet macaroni. No. 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 I feel like it was probably a pretty good compromise to, to ask for the bridesmaid situation, but we don't really know what their actual relationship is the, between the half sisters. I feel like it's really unfair to poor Zoe. Poor Zoe. When I learned of this, I lost it on my family. It's especially my parents, thinking how they could back up Nate on such a thing. They said they agree that it is a little mean, but this needs to be done to keep the family together. How can Zoe get married and not have her only sister involved at all? So they don't care at all about Zoe's feelings. That's, that's how it sounds to me. She is a grown ass adult and uh, honestly, like, how does Kim feel? She like, like what's going on with Kim? What what are they, what's happening there? Is Kim understanding or supportive? But she's a man, pulling all the funding, just to keep the family together. Three cheers for the support of aunt though, am I right? Like that is an awesome aunt. This is the kind of aunt you want in your back corner. I called Zoe to console her and asked her how she planned to proceed with the wedding. Zoe said that they would scale down the wedding. It would be a shame that it was the only way her and her fiance could pay on their own. I asked for the difference and since it was only just over $10,000, I told Zoe she could consider it a wedding gift from me and she could have her dream wedding. Oh, that's an awesome aunt, <laughs> the best aunt. Zoe was ecstatic. Yeah, I would be too. She said I gave her the ability to really have her wedding the way she wanted it. My family was mad at me when they learned what I did. Kim was actually crying and said she was looking forward to being a bridesmaid at the wedding and that I ruined everything. Nate said Zoe wouldn't even let him walk her down the aisle now. And my parents added that all their extended family and friends will talk about how dysfunctional our family is. Oh, I think they already know. I think they already know. My family gave me such grief that I wonder, am I the a-hole? Oh my gosh. No, no, definitely. 
like not the a-hole. I think there are quite a few people losing here. One of them, Zoe, obviously, the other, Kim. But I don't think it's the aunt. I think the aunt is probably like the real winner here because she is amazing um, and real godsend. Honestly, the dad, Nate, is the biggest loser here. Oh no, he's not the biggest loser, hold on. Honestly, the, the dad, Nate, is the one who started this whole thing. So he's the real a-hole here. Not Zoe, not Kim. Now, poor Zoe has to deal with like, his dad. Now poor Zoe has to deal with like all oh, everyone making just a big fuss over her and her wedding and now there's just unreasonable entitled family drama happening. And like poor Kim is feeling hurt. Like I, I Kim would not be feeling her if the dad had never made a promise to his daughter that yeah you're gonna be a bridesmaid. No! Poor Kim is also a victim from Nate, this Nate guy dad who's clearly not the best. Let's also keep in mind that like poor Kim is 17 and being 17 is really hard. I don't know about you guys but when I was 17 I was a really emotional person. Always emotional. I'm still emotional but like at 17 I feel like you are more likely to be upset by these things. Like you're promised this and uh then the like you get excited right? It would be disappointing for your sister to be like Hey, sorry, I, it would be hurtful even to be told that. But at the same time, I don't think that makes Zoe the a-hole. It sounds like she has a really good reason. We also don't know their actual family dynamics, right? But I just want to keep in mind that like a 17 year old is going to be much, much more emotional uh, than like a mid twenties or late twenties individual should be probably. And uh, I don't want to blame poor Kim. I think she's honestly a victim here. I'm like, okay, look, I don't blame the dad for wanting his daughter involved in the wedding. Like I could see that from his point of view, he he wants his daughter involved in his other daughter's wedding. Uh, that makes sense to me. How he went about it and how uh, he wanted to pull the funding? No, okay, that is not cool at all. Not cool at all. I, I think that what they really needed to do was just take a step back, take a deep breath, and uh, calm oh, down. This just needs to calm down. It's like to the outside world, it might seem strange that like. Kim is not in Zoe's wedding, but it's not his decision to make. No matter how much money you are putting into someone else's wedding, you can't make those decisions for someone. I feel like you do kind of have a say in the wedding for like, if you're paying for a bunch of stuff, but at the same time, I don't think you get a say in who is actually part of like your crew, your your bridesmaids or your groomsmen, your, your honor squad, celebration crew, whatever you want to call it. It's super not cool. It's like he made a scene over it and he just reduced his daughter's dreams to ashes? Like, are you serious? You promised this and then you're just gonna take it away from her? This is nuts to me. It's all Nate's fault that this one side is. I also really hate it when anyone's like, we're external family, we'll think that we're dysfunctional. I'm sorry, like, so what? they're gonna be judgmental about it, they will be anyway. They're gonna nitpick everything. Like, just, it's not, it's not worth your time to be worried about that. And it's like, what are they gonna do, disown you? No, they wanna keep talking about you. Like, honestly, like, let them, let the haters hate. Isn't that a Taylor, that's a Taylor Swift song, right? And if they, if they do, not worth your time to begin with. Honestly, they might even forget. Might be worth it. Let's see what others have said. But first, shameless plug time! Our favorite part, right? Yeah! Baby. All right, I have not one, but two, two eBooks uh, for the fantastic price of $3.99. It's free, $3.99. The first one is a little bit related to the story. So it's about the different roles that different members in the wedding party have. What does the couple do when they have a wedding party? What about the man, the maid of honor, the groomsmen, bridesmaids, honor squad, whatever you want to call them. What do they do? I would have loved this guy. The second and freebie, which is all linked down below again for the fantastic price of free 99. A 12 month planning timeline, which I created because I was frustrated by other planners' uh, timelines that they had for free. They were often incomplete and left out things like when to buy the cake topper. It would be easy to forget the cake topper, in my opinion, just because it's not all listed down. So I have a very detailed free timeline that also comes with tips. This review from Cadiz is coming all the way from the Caribbean, from the country of St. Kitts and Nevis. Let's read it. Review, five stars. 
I can't believe this amazing resource is free. I guess I can pay with this review. Thank you for being so generous with your expertise. We just had a baby and there is so much going on in our lives and families from two different countries, the UK and St. Kitts. So this is like, this is so cool, so international. We just had a baby and there is so much going on in our lives and families from two different countries, the UK and St. Kitts coordinate that we just decided to keep it simple and do a courthouse ceremony. After stumbling on this practical and comprehensive planner, I'm so much clearer about the wedding planning process. There is so much in here. Everything is already thought out for me, so I know exactly what steps I would need to take. And I feel confident that I won't miss anything important. I am actually entertaining the idea of a formal wedding or some variation of one that works for us using elements from this timeline. Thanks to this planner, it seems possible. Thank you. No, thank you, Cadiz. This is why I make these, for people like you to have the clearest path forward. Shameless plug time over. All right, let's get back into those comments. Emergency Kind 8967 says, you are a saint. Zoe isn't snubbing people or making it a big deal to exclude people. She's just not going out of her way to appease other people's unreasonable requests for her wedding. And in fact, that Kim said she was looking forward to being a bridesmaid at the wedding and saying you ruined that means that she had, was promised that her dad would be able to manipulate Zoe into giving her what she wanted. That doesn't sound like a loving father or half sister that's bothered or hurt by the lacking relationship with Zoe. That's a couple of self-pitying AH who are willing to use Zoe to get something they want in order that they've been denied the chance to take advantage of her. Also, the wedding party is a big responsibility, being the MOH and the maid of honor even more so. Is the 17 year old going to plan the bachelorette party, attend wedding dress shopping, coordinate the other bridesmaids, be someone the bride can lean on for emotional support, protect the bride from unnecessary stress. It's not a prize or a gift you just give to a child because they want it. If she wants to put on a pretty dress for a fancy party, she can save it for junior prom. Okay, let's back, back up a moment. I totally agree that OP is a saint, um, but I think it's a dramatic to say that a 17 year old is incapable of doing those things. A 17 year old is not a child. Um, that she's also not to blame here. She's, I or ardently believe that she is a victim um, of the father's wrongdoing, especially since like the compromise ended up being that she would be a bridesmaid. A bridesmaid doesn't have nearly as many responsibilities as a maid of honor. And I think that was a totally reasonable compromise in a way, other than the fact that like Zoe really didn't want it. And you know, she's got the final say, right? She's the bride. Actually, like reading through some of the other comments, it looks like a lot of people agreed that a 17 year old should not be a maid of honor. I think that a 17 year old is perfectly capable of planning events. I, uh, in middle school, I was planning a recycled fashion show. I mean, I had help of course, cause I was like 13, but like <laughs> I was helping to plan and coordinate like that whole thing. And I think a 17 year old is perfectly capable of planning an event. Not always well, right? But like some of those things are not high pressure. So, and I wasn't stupid at 17, right? Like 17 year olds aren't stupid. They're emotional, but they're not stupid. I was definitely run my emotion at 17. Not all 17 year olds, of course, are emotionally bound like I was, but that's the kind of thing that can cause problems like this. It's the dad we should be focusing on. I was like, oh gosh, like thinking about it, I've been planning events like forever. So, like I just, I've been planning events so <laughs> for so long. <laughs> and it's like, I didn't really realize it until like this video and talking about it. I'm like, I, this is my jam. This is why I want to be a wedding planner all of the time. Like this is just the best, it's the best job. I love planning events. I can't believe it took me like four years to figure out that wedding planning would be a good profession for me. All right, another commenter. Inner Mountain Gal writes, NTA. I find it amusing that now they're worried about what others think. I think everyone already knows. <laughs> and yeah, they do. Brief horror right? NTA, it's to keep the family together. The family was together. Now look at that nice hole you blew in it, Nate. Yes, 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 that's, that's the one. Civil as an orange writes, NTA, I'm sorry, I ruined your attempt to extort your daughter. That must be so hard for you. <laughs> Why I? 
the OP, possibly the best aunt ever, is not the a-hole, according to Reddit. So, you know, I think we, uh, we figured that out. In the meantime, don't forget to check out my freebie in the link below, the free wedding timeline that I talked about earlier with the Shameless Blood Check. It's a free little mini wedding party guide and has like a couple ideas and tips and stuff. Um, and it gives you permission to not have a wedding party if you're like, do I need one? So yeah, it's like, um, it helps you figure out some of those things and it gives you some alternative ideas. If you want to know how to handle certain wedding drama situations, check out this video over here next because it's honestly going to really be helpful for you. If you're here for a little more drama, check out this video where a coordinator was forced to create a 20 foot by 20 foot mound of trash because the venue didn't care. Boop that like button and give that subscribe a sweet little embrace, but keep it PG for me, okay? You guys, I'm sorry. I just realized I forgot to uh, actually tell y'all if that got the solder seal of failure. So now we are here in this situation where my face is way too close. All right. Did it get the solder seal of failure? Yeah. I didn't learn anything, did you? Did you? I don't know. I didn't. So that's it. It gets the solder seal of failure. All right, my shaky hand is done.